for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we are here with Harsh Patel. Harsh, how do you stay positive when things don't go your way? I just look ahead. Can you give me an example? Not really. Okay, think of a time that things were just all just going downhill or something really negative or something really bad was happening. How? What was the positive thing you found from that? Oh, when I was in Coach Garrett's class, I did a I made a bad grade on my test, and I retook it and did all the corrections with Coach Garrett. So what did you learn from that experience? That you can make mistakes and correct them. Hello. We're, we're here with Raekwon. Mr. Raekwon, tell us, how do you remain positive when things just don't seem to go your way? Listen to music. What kind of music do you listen to? Rap. And who is the best rap artist right now out there? Lil Baby. I'm really glad you didn't say NBA Young Boy. Good morning. Good morning. We are here with... Christelle. Now tell us, what is one bad thing that happened to you this week? Built my coffee. Oh, that is one of the worst things ever. Now tell us, what is one pos or how we after you split your coffee, how do you remain positive? I got a second cup. <laughs> and was that second cup even better than your first cup? It wasn't as good as the first cup, but it was okay. And hey, that's the way to be optimistic right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, 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 there he is. We are here with D Smith. D, what does optimism mean? I don't even know. Do you watch the morning announcements? How dare you? Okay, optimism is? It's being positive when things get tough. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, D, what is something bad that has happened to you? And something you don't have to tell us what it is, but what did you learn from it? What was the positive you could take from it? You <laughs> <laughs> from your uh <laughs> that your consequences I mean your actions come with consequences. Yeah. D do you consider yourself a half a glass is half empty or glass is half full type person? Glass is half full. It's always half full. We're here with Nay. Nay, Miss Nay, tell us what how when things get tough, how do you try to stay positive? Um I hang out with my friend, Ty. And your friends? And what do you and your friends do for fun? Um, we just watch T V and stuff. That's it. Do you have anything positive you want to say to your friends? Um, hey, Ty girl, you need to come to school more, okay? All right, we are here with... Mr. Spencer. Mr. Spencer, how do you spell optimism? O-P-T-I-M-I-S-M. And what does optimism mean? Optimism means the glass is half full. Optimism means going after your things that you want to go after and getting them, or at least trying to. Okay, Coach Spencer, what is the worst thing that has happened to you this week? 
nothing because I'm optimistic. Yes! I need you to work with me here. The worst thing that's happened this week. One, one bad thing. One bad thing. It rained and we did not have to get we did not get to have tennis practice on the courts. Okay, so what is something positive that came from that? We got to go into the weight room and we got stronger. 